Hey guys, welcome back to Zifro, it's me Matt here and today I'm discussing something with regards to being present. Now I've talked on this channel about being present and why it's important. If you're not familiar with that, then check out my meditation and spirituality playlist which you can find by going to my channel page, clicking the home tab and scrolling down and watch some of my videos there, I talk about it in some of them. But today I want to talk about some confusion that arises with regards to being present. A lot of people think that if you're present in the here and now, and not focused on the past or the future, then that means that you have to ignore all future aspects of your life. You live purely for today, not for tomorrow. But that is not what being present means. Being present doesn't mean living for today, it means living today. There is a distinct difference there. You can live today for tomorrow rather than living for today. If you get this confused, then you can royally mess up your life because you can decide that, hey, today it will be better to go and experience a roller coaster for the first time because I've never experienced one before and I want to experience one in my life rather than going to an important meeting that I have to go to at work. That kind of decision is living purely for the moment for today, but that is not what living in the moment and being present necessarily means. Being present does not and should not prevent you from living for tomorrow, from making plans, from taking notes, from preparing for things. Being present doesn't mean forgetting the future or forgetting the past. Being present means realizing that there only is one moment and that moment is now. So while you should try to be present and in the moment at all times, or as much as possible anyway, through meditation, through being aware of your breathing, through being aware of your body throughout the day, and being aware of what you're doing and putting all of your attention into it instead of being on autopilot, you should also make plans for the future and do these things with presence as well. Rather than stressing or worrying about the future, you should act with presence to actually make the best plans now so that you're prepared for what is to come and make the best decisions now so that you're prepared for what is to come. Being present also doesn't mean forgetting the past, it simply means not allowing it to detract from the moment at hand. Not allowing yourself to be caught up in a rut of depression brought on by past events that have happened to you that prevents you from actually doing the things that you need to be doing now to move your life forward. Being present is always moving forward in the current moment at hand, but there is always room to learn from the past and to prepare for the future. So this video is going to be quite short. In fact, it's coming to an end right now, but I just wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of people get confused about that. Uh, when I first learned about the idea of being present, I was confused by that as well. I thought, okay, being present means completely ditch the future, completely ditch the past and just live in the moment. And, you know, like the movie Yes Man, you know, just go around saying yes to whatever opportunity comes your way, uh, screw your job, screw your opportunities, all of that. But that is not what being present about. That is just an immature way of dealing with it. What you should really do is acknowledge the past, prepare for the future, and be present today. After all, there is only now. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you did, remember to subscribe for more. Also, check out my Patreon page if you're interested in supporting the channel, it means a lot. Thanks for watching once again, take care.